Hey guys, what is up? It is officially day two for our Halloween extravaganza. As you can tell, I am very tired today. Um, we're wearing our Oogie Boogie hat because your girl does not want to deal with sunglasses all day today. We're trying a new way to get to the parks today. I'm um, seeing if it's like a little bit faster, but we're going through this neighborhood because, you know, YOLO. Uh, but yeah, so it is about to be 8 a.m. We're going to California Adventure. Today is our first, like, which park we can go to first because if you don't know, you gotta do reservations for Disney. And it's always a poo-poo and it's annoying. Anyways, so what we're gonna do DCA anyways today. Sorry about the sun, it's like right behind me so I can't really get a good thing. You can see my eye bags through this, so this is great. Anyways, um, all right, so we are off to DCA. First stop is to get Starbucks. Lynette, our travel agent, was very nice and gave us a gift card for Starbucks. So you best know I'm gonna use that this morning because it was a rough morning. Could not get myself up. I was just really tired. We did 12 hours or whatever. We closed down the parks yesterday. So um, yeah, but anyways, off to DCA. First to get Dramamine, then to get coffee, then to go and try to get on Web Slingers. Who knows? Dramamine has been acquired. Now we're off to Avengers Campus to go and do web slingers because there is no wait. After that, I think we're gonna go to Pim's. Did you put a mobile order in yet? Okay. Oh, yes, yes. Um, so after we are off web slingers, we're gonna go to Pim's kitchen and have some breakfast. Hopefully they have coffee. Um, and then after that, take maybe go to Haunted, uh, not Haunted Mansion, um, Guardians of the Galaxies, because we want to do the regular one instead of Monsters After Dark, even though Monsters After Dark is our favorite, um, so like the regular one as well. He just ate his quail egg. This is our breakfast today from Pam's Test Kitchen. I have a little ketchup. And then of course we have our first fall beverage, which is the butter pecan cold brew for Rosa. And then Rich just got a nitro. Honestly, I probably should have gotten the nitro, but it's fall, so here we are. But yeah, and then I got the eggs. I don't know, it was like one of the eggs things. And Rich got the molded over cinnamon, cinnamon uh, French toast. And then, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and eat. All right, guys, so we just got to Smoke Jumper's Grill. I ended up getting their fall drink, which is the Cran Grape Cocktail. I just like grape juice and I like cranberry juice. Here we are. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming that's white grape juice, and then the rest is cocktail. Mixed with cranberry juice. Richard just got a voodoo racer, voodoo, voodoo ranger, voodoo ranger beer, and we're about to try this. But this is our next, I guess, little treat for the fall. There's also boba in this, which I don't know how I'm gonna drink out of this little straw, but uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, it's kind of weird, huh? Refreshing. All right. Ooh. All right. All right. Hey guys, what is up? So we went to the Plaza de Familia, which is the Coco area, which is the Paradise Garden Grill. And we got a few things, because I'm starving. Um, we got a little uh, plant-based queso, which is just like a cheese quesadilla, to be honest. Um, and then we got some water, and chorizo. Plant-based chorizo, that's what it is. Oh. That's why it's, that's why it's plant-based, the chorizo is plant-based. <laughs> okay, so I just tried this drink. The watermelon candy is bomb. The drink is bomb and the rim is amazing. Um, so I highly recommend. So freaking. I can die happy now. This bomb. Music bomb. Watermelon candy bomb. Quesadilla bomb. 
Okay, Rich just got the biggest wiener <laughs> ever. Like, this is the pulled pork um, wiener dog from Award Winners. Girlfriend, this is huge. I don't even, I don't even know, but I'm still drinking my guy right here and then I have some water. But, uh-huh, there's a chicharron on there. Ooh, yum. I miss you, Nick. Oh, our magic time. All right, guys, we just got out of Philhar Magic. I cried like a baby, per usual. I think I'm still crying, technically. Um, the tears aren't done yet. We just got out. We are about to go to Incredicoaster, and this time I am going to take off my glasses and my hat because I don't want to have a major headache afterwards because I'm too stressed out about my glasses and my hat. But yeah, so we have Fast Passes right now, and I'm gonna keep calling it Fast Pass. I don't care if it's called Lightning Lane now. That doesn't roll off the tongue better than Fast Pass, so. Anyways, off to that, and then we'll figure out what else is happening. Because right now, we don't know what's going on. I'm trying to like, get my tears to stop. Second night. Second night? Yes. We took a little break and now we're back. We're actually coming through the Disneyland Hotel right now and going to Disneyland to finish off the night there. It is very sunsetty out here right now, so it's very blue. I apologize. Look how pretty the pool is and stuff. It is gorgeous weather, by the way. It's like 70 something degrees. I'm just in a sweater because I've never worn this sweater here. I've had this sweater for like three years, but never ended up wearing it here um, so we are wearing it today and uh, yes yeah, so we're off to Disney to go ride storybook canals we're gonna watch the projections on small world because they don't have the laser show today the Halloween spooky no, they have the la la laser show you said there wasn't the laser show no I said there's no there's no parade Oh, right. Okay, no parade. So there's no electrical parade, but there is a laser show and the small world laser show. So we'll go and try and see if we can see those and then also um, go on storybook canals because I've been wanting to do that one forever too and we haven't done it. And it's a lot prettier at night to be honest. So yeah, we're going to go in now. literally a street that goes underneath downtown Disney that's downtown Disney there's Jazz Kitchen and there's the highway that's so weird I had no idea
We've got Small World. Small World's supposed to have some sort of projection. We're gonna watch the nine o'clock one. Um, but right now, we're gonna go on Small World because nothing else is really open that uh, we wanna ra wa wait for. Storybook Canals is a 40 minute wait right now. So, man. Let's go. Let's go. It's officially 7.30, just FYI. <laughs> Just have an open door. 
Meanwhile, in the small alpine village to your right, a woodcarver named Geppetto wished for his puppet Pinocchio to become a real boy. But after Pinocchio saved him from the belly of Monster the Whale, the blue fairy granted his wish with no strings attached. Wishes are a very common theme in all of our fairy tales. It's like the wish of the little mermaid named Ariel to follow her friend Sarah up to his castle, which is coming up on our right. She wished to drain her life out of the sea for a pair of unsteady legs to fulfill her dream of becoming part of our world. Ariel's story began in the underwater city of Atlantica, which you can see off to your left, where her father King tried to her fishy friends on the ants, and Austin still live today. Now, as our story comes to an end, we return to the dock dock in reality. Good morning, everyone. It is day three of our Disneyland vacation. I am wearing a different outfit today. I'm actually repping Universal. <laughs> I'm repping um, Harry Potter today. We are doing Snape, our Professor Snape t-shirt, which you guys know I love if you've seen it in a bunch of videos. And then I'm wearing my Ravenclaw headband, and I'm also wearing this black um, necklace from Ana Luisa. Um, to represent the Snape vibes. But anyway, so we are staying at Paradise Pier Hotel for the next two days, which is super nice, a little a little bouge for our anniversary. Um, and then right now we're walking to the Grand Californian to get into downtown Disney, because we actually start our day off at Disneyland. Um, and yeah, and then tomorrow is like a whole hotel day, so I'll show you guys that later. But um, for now, we are walking into the Grand Californian to get to downtown Disney to get to Disneyland to get some food because we're hungry. <laughs> Get us clear so we can 
can make the jump. Where are all those TIE fighters coming from? Star Destroyers. We can't. We're caught in a tractor beam. It's pulling us in. It's a fight to make us a fair fight. Don't worry, I'll come back for you. Stay strong. Is there anything we can do now? No, no the tractor beam will be too strong. Hello vessel TR-141, identify yourselves and prepare to be boarded. This is TR-141. We are a civilian vessel. By whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the First Order, Resistance Scum. Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded. Alright, Bill. They'll want the location of our secret base. Tell them nothing. The future of the Resistance is at stake. I have a bad feeling about this. Stand back from those doors. Oh, this way. Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> Passengers of T. Continue down the corridor. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> 